Hi, I'm Dan from Mad River Mountain Ski Patrol, and we're going to talk about the local protocol for opioid overdose, which at Mad River Mountain includes the use of the drug Narcan. American Heart Association CPR now allows uh, healthcare providers to administer Narcan for opioid overdoses. Um, the drugs that are abused, the opioids we commonly see, are pre prescription drugs, Oxycontin, morphine, oxycodone, and uh, fentanyl, carfentanyl, and the illegal drug that we commonly see is heroin. Uh, so these could be prescription drugs, but someone is misusing them to get their high. Uh, the indications that we see are um, a report from friends or family that someone has taken them, or the big three things, and we have a chart in the aid room that lists these so that it's easy to tell is if they're unconscious, if they have decreased resp respirations, either no respirations, irregular or slow respirations, and pinpoint pupils. So if we see those three things, we can give Narcan. The opioids decrease the respiratory drive and that results in people going into respiratory arrest and ultimately cardiac arrest and death. So. The Narcan that we have, we keep in each one of the trauma bags. There are two trauma bags. It's in the very top. There is a box in each one of them, and each box has two doses in it. So here's one of the doses. You have to peel off the outer label, and that's what the dose looks like. We put a finger on each size of this nozzle and our thumb underneath. This gets slid all the way up the nostril of the patient. It can be either one of the nostrils and you press the plunger all the way in and deliver the whole dose to the patient. Because Come here, Jay Sean, let him practice. <laughs> <laughs> then after that, to circulate that drug around, we want to use a bag valve mask and that'll help ventilate it and get it in the, in the patient's system. It can take two to three minutes to take effect. If after two to three minutes, they don't start breathing on their own or their breathing doesn't pick up or they don't regain consciousness, we get the second dose out of the box and we'll put that in the opposite nostril. Again, bag valve mask afterwards to circulate it, supportive care. Because they're unconscious, we want to call 911 at the very beginning of this uh, to get EMS on their way here. The dangers we have to be careful, if this patient's in cardiac arrest, they oftentimes will become conscious again. They can be combative when they become conscious. So our goal for treatment is to give just enough Narcan to improve their breathing, but not necessarily to make them fully conscious again. Drugs. There are no side effects to this, so we don't have to be concerned about giving it. But if they're on some other kind of narcotic drug, um, that's, that is not an opioid, this is not going to have any effect on them, so you won't see any improvement.